Where have I put it? Did it grow feet and run away? Oh. Sorry, <laughs> I can't find my mic. I found it. It was just in the drawer I normally put it in. I was just too lazy to check. <laughs> By the way, if I sound a bit more quiet today, my mother's ill and I'm trying to avoid sleeping in the garage at least until my 20s. So, what makes Bo Burnham so special? If you've lived on this planet for at least 13 years, you must have been acquainted with the name Bo Burnham. Some of his biggest hits include 1995, Look Who's Inside Again, Welcome to the Internet, and Bezos One. Of course he has produced many other songs, but these are just some of the popular ones on Spotify. So who is Bo Burnham? Robert Pickering Burnham is a comedian and music artist who goes by the name Bo Burnham. Born in August 1950 in Hamilton, Massachusetts. I misspelled that so wrong on my Word document. Does anyone know how to spell Massachusetts? He began his career on YouTube in 2006. He gained fame through his comedy song sketches, where he later gained notoriety in, his, in the 2010s. His song, My Whole Family... quickly became popular when the link to its YouTube video was shared on Break.com. He then produced comedy albums with Comedy Central Records, Words, Words, Words in 2010, What, Full Stop in 2013, and Make Happy 2016. He created and starred in the MTV mockumentary Zack Stone is gonna be famous in 2013, as well as he wrote a poetry book, Egghead, or You Can't Survive on Ideas Alone, 2013. In 2016, when he decided to announce his career change, not a very drastic one, but he created more sinister and realistic comedy specials, when in 2021, during the pandemic, he created the special Inside. This was made with impressive production value, taking into account he produced this single-handedly, as it was during quarantine and he was not able to hire a production team while following government legislation. It was then released on Netflix where it was later nominated for six categories on the 73rd Emmy Awards and later was nominated in two categories for the 64th Grammy Awards. Three songs appeared on the Billboard charts and were certified gold in the United States. Bo's father owned a construction company where both his older sister and older brother currently work, making Bo Burnham the black swan not working within the family business. He got accepted into university in 2008 to study experimental theatre but later dropped out to pursue his comedy and music artist career. Burnham's music and performances tackle such subjects as class, race, gender, hu human sexuality, sex and religion. That is a tongue twister. How many political issues can you get into? Burnham describes his on-stage persona as a more arrogant, stuck-up version of himself. When speaking with the Detroit News about his rapping, he has expressed his intent to honour and respect the perspective and culture of hip-hop music. Although his high status, he borderlines sometimes the walls of cancel culture as he speaks of political issues and his opinions on them within the songs and specials. On March 3rd, 2009, 50 Westminster College students, members of the Campus Gay Straight Alliance, Black Students Association, International Club and Cultural Diversity Organization, protested at his concert due to his use of homophobic and racist terms in his performances. Of the controversy, he said, It's so ironic because gay bashers were the ones labelling me in high school. I try and write satire that's well-intentioned, but those intentions have to be hidden. It can't be completely clear, and that's what makes it comedy. Of course, people are allowed to have dark humour, it's just the way the word has been interpreted now, it's not the same. I'd say I have quite a sinister comedic approach, however, that is not expressed within my videos because I feel more comfortable in person talking to my friends and making a joke about something more sinister than if I was up on a stage speaking about something controversial. This was not followed through in any way since this, Bo has avoided being protested although not changing his content in any way. His comedy special is what boomed Bo Burnham's reputation with Gen Z. Comedy Central's biggest audience around in the 2010s was millennials, making this a huge difference in the fan base. He managed to appeal to the younger generation by relating in mental illness and the struggles the pandemic and internet notoriety brought him. One of his most popular songs, Sad, made in 2013, was produced as commentary on how everything in life can be perceived as depressing or distressing 
and Bo Burnham found ways that he can cope with humour in an almost unhealthy way. Woo! Oh, this speaking got me feeling woozy. When he rebranded in 2016, we could see one of his most popular songs, Welcome to the Internet, in 2021, broke revolutional ground of interpreting humanity's biggest success as almost a curse. He ironically mocked how the internet during 2021 pandemic was humanity's only source of social interaction. This gained such popularity as at the time the internet became unhinged creating mounds of useless content because viewers would have watched anything to forget we couldn't see our families who could have been in grave danger. A lot of Gen Z can relate to having unlimited access to the internet from a young age, as from 1998 to 2010 adults weren't as socially aware to what was acceptable or reachable to children. During 2021 we had nothing better to do than to stare at our phones, mesmerised, which is where Bo Burnham states in his song, apathy is a tragedy and boredom is a crime, anything and everything all of the time. Referring to the unhingedness is that a word? Referring to the unhinged media the internet has created. Though these relatable lyrics to Gen Z who had major and limited access to the internet as kids, Bo Burnham successfully dominated and catered to another target market while still making it relatable to his old viewers and fans who also felt glued to their phones. These are just two examples, but Bo Burnham's comedy hits related so much to the glued audience, along with other songs mostly containing political opinions of humanity's priorities whilst inputting comedy, which is why I believe Bo Burnham created some some of our generation's biggest masterpieces. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. We have officially hit 300 subscribers. It may not seem like a lot, but to me, I value all of my viewers and appreciate the unconditional love you guys have shown me. Always feel free to input your opinion in the comments. I love a good debate. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.